Those were constantly battered by tidal waves. Residents of the Angon Beach community in the Shamat district of the Western region now say they are willing to be relocated. The decision comes after years of continuous flooding of homes and destruction to property. The fisher folk tell Joy News' Adelaide Arthur they've finally come to their wit's end. When the first settler from the Volta region arrived at the Western region's Anglo Beach in the 1900s, the ocean was said to be more than 100 meters from the closest structure. But all that's changed now. The invasion of homes by the sea happens almost always, destroying property and threatening lives while at it. Most of the residents, such as this woman, have had to adopt some interesting measures to protect their property. The sand wall we have built prevents seawater from entering the house. We are so devastated by the impacts of the tidal waves. We have no idea what to do now because we have nowhere else to go. This is the second building we have put up after the first one was destroyed by the sea. Community leader Nobo Kindogbache has lived all his life here, right from infancy. Although his hometown is Tregui in the Keta district of the Volta region, he tells me he considers Anglo Beach home. And this is why he and other community elders are determined to reopen negotiations for a land to enable them resettle. The former Omanhin of Shama Traditional Council allocated some land for us without the consent of the landowners. When he passed on, the land was taken by, back by the, by the owners of the land. As at now, tomorrow there will be a meeting between the community and the owners of the land so to negotiate what, what, we can, what we will have to do before the land is released to us. We are willing to uh, relocate, but we will be comfortable there, come here, work, go back, in the, in the night to sleep, I have a, a, a sound sleep. And then the following day, we come here to do our work. We want support from the government and NGOs that will help us put down some affordable houses for us. Even if it's possible for us to pay back, we are ready to. Researchers at the Center for Coastal Management and the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences at the University of Cape Coast have been studying this community where more than 3,000 people call home. The researchers say, Anglo Beach, like several other coastal communities, is highly exposed and sensitive to sea level rise. But it has a very low adaptive capacity, making it vulnerable to the severe impact of climate change. The experts recommend that the fisher folk must be relocated as a matter of urgency. The community is under attack from both the river and from the sea. We were here only just last April, April this year. And, and well, we, the sandbar was nowhere near uh, what it is now. A lot of it has washed away. There used to be a shed under which we sat to do some, uh, you know, some work. It is not there anymore. We see that a lot of the coconut trees have fallen and the, and the uh, edge of the shore is now close to the village. And uh, very soon they may have to uh, relocate. The Anglo Beach community may be struggling with the effect of sea level rise, but it has its specs too. It boasts of an estuary where the Pra River enters the sea. And unlike neighboring Shamar community, you don't find a sandy beach littered with human excreta.